503 Rotax. And uh, we've got an 85 Continental in it right now. Thank you. Is this an airplane that you bought as a kid? No, uh, just the plans. You build it all from plans? Yeah. How long would it take somebody to, to build it right from plans? When I built it, I was still in business and it took me about a year and a half spare time. How many hours do you think that'd be? About 2,500. Yeah. Was there an, a saving to you in actual uh, money over, uh, say, buying a kit? No, it's probably cheaper to buy the kit uh, because uh, when you're buying the parts to build them, uh, you can't buy in large enough quantities. It's just the satisfaction of building it, really. Okay. Is this the first airplane you built? No, I started off with a, with a, uh, an ultralight. But did you have a Hawk first, I think it was? Yeah, an old Hawk. That was a kit. Then I built a J3 kit, which was from scratch, and then I built this one. Okay. So this is the third in the line, then? Yeah. Uh, any plans for the future? Well, not yet. I know you've got skis on this one as well. Is this something that uh, you've designed yourself, or is yeah, this something that's been that's, bought? That's my own design. Built about four sets like that now for the okay. guys. Uh, are they available uh, if somebody wants a set of skis well, from you? Well, not really. It's, it's another non-profit <laughs> thing. <laughs> you've also got some sort of a reduction dive uh, that you uh, had that you had on a Subaru engine, I believe, at one time. Yeah, that uh, was a cog belt drive. It worked very well. But the Subaru didn't have enough power for uh, float flight, so I put this Continental in. This, air, this airplane's on floats then during the uh, summer months? That's right. Okay. What kind of performance are we getting out of with the uh, Continental on it right now then? It cruises uh, at 2300 revs, it cruises about 105, and at 2250 it cruises about 95. What about climb rates? Uh, solo about 900 feet a minute, dual about 6700. What kind of uh, cabin rooms do we have inside of it? Uh, 39 inches wide, a little bit tight. And, uh, lots of lots of baggage area in the height. Done any uh, nice long cross countries in it? Uh, no, not too long. Maybe maybe 300 miles or something like that. Flying around the patch, basically. There. Yeah. Okay. There's a lot of people, this, we're up in the uh, uh, Espanola, there's a lot of people up in here where, that have got ultralights or that type of aircraft. Yeah, it's pretty active at our, our little strip there at Espanola. We have about 13, 14 planes flying out of there right now. Not all of them, it's some home belts, ultralights, and factory. Well, thank you very much, Hal. We'll talk to you a little later then. Okay, Dave.